So we've got 29 people back in. <laughs> Hopefully more people will start joining. Sorry, uh, we lost connection for some reason. It's when I left the room. The show ended. There we go. <laughs> so I don't know if you guys are still there. I got the mark out of the bag, guys. <laughs> Can you believe it? By the way, she's laughing because I, I, I'm like a magic cleaner. Uh, there's no mark in this bag. I got the mark out the bag. There we go. The mark has come out of the bag. So, uh, I don't know who asked me who got the mark about the bag and if I can get the mark out. I now have got the mark out of the bag. Tada. Cleaned by the one and only Sabrina. Bag herself. repair service, Sabrina Sadiq. There we go. The Here show go. must go on. The show must go <laughs> on. <laughs> Hannah, give us one second. We are coming to that Chanel classic flap. Sorry. Uh, so, if you are interested in this, this now has... A nice clean interior. Let me quickly just show you the condition of the bag again. This is £850. As mentioned, um, someone mentioned that this retails for around £1,800. So a really, really great um, piece. Um, the inside did have a mark, but I've just taken it out. It's now nice and clean in the inside with just tiny bits of wear. Mm -hmm. uh, and the corners are nice but there is some tiny signs of wear to the corners, but overall in a good condition. And that's 850. If you tap on the icon on the left-hand uh, side, you can check out with this piece, which is a fantastic price. Now, Gabby's asking, how do you long would it say if it takes your customer service to respond? Well, it depends. Uh, um, if it's a pricing inquiry, we say it takes up to seven working days because as, as you know, we get lots of pieces in and uh, you have to wait till we get through everyone, whoever, uh, you know, gets to get we have to respond back to the other people um it takes around 48 hours if you have a question gabby i'd say the best place to ask your question will be on instagram um on the dms if you go through emails you're having to go through all the other customer uh, buyers and sellers but if you do have any questions gabby ask away on our instagram and i will try to look after you i always always in the middle of the night go on Instagram <laughs> and I will try to personally help you myself. And because the Fendi I, uh, sunglasses are still up there, let's just model these one more time before we put them to sleep. So there you go. Really cool, really chic piece. How do I clean the bag is the question. I used a towel. It's like giving your grandma. Where is it? It's like giving your grandma's what, what recipe. Away. Oh, sorry. Hang on. So I used a hand uh, towel. Uh, with some warm water that's the best thing to use because if you use things like leather wipes um, or hand sanitizing wipe they have alcohol in it so it could strip the color uh, if you uh, do have a mark on your bag and I always at the end of my day get warm water on like a flannel and just wipe the bag down and it should get the item out don't use any um, don't get any like uh, soap or anything like that just use that to type clean out the bag and it should get it out as well. Where did you get this cloth from? From the bathroom. Oh. Just a little hand <laughs> like, towel, a bit of water. So this is you? yeah, this is my Hermes um Lindy. And usually yeah. at the end of the day, I always give it like a nice like just a, a nice wipe just to take off any like dirt that might have been on it in the daytime, just to keep my bags nice and clean. So wa water and I know lots of people and you'll see some influencers really promoting like a leather wipe or anything like that. Warm water and a, a cloth is the mm -hmm. first trick and then try out the other stuff. Hey, Tamara. Um, so the Chanel hiding in the back, we haven't seen yet. There is a Chanel hiding at the back and should we bring it out? Yes. All right, go on then. Okay. So we added this last minute, guys, especially for you to view on today's live. So as you know, the Chanel Classic Flaps. <laughs> get the bell. <laughs> uh, the Chanel Classic Flaps are, um, are we going to able the shop? You are. I am going to do an auction at the end of the live show. I'm excited for that. If we get 10 guesses, I'll do an auction. So tell me yes, if you want me to. Okay, so this is a Chanel Classic Flap. And I'm very protective of my classic flaps because I hunt the world for beautiful conditioned classic mm -hmm. flaps. Um, and they're so hard to come by, as you know, and they're becoming more and more expensive. We're seeing typically now the resale value of the Chanel classic flap of a vintage is now around 4,500 for a really, really good condition piece. I see the yeses, guys. Um, and you can see that the condition of this um, is amazing. It's beautiful, 
shiny, glossy with that 24 karat gold. There is literally no tarnish. Look at the brightness of that. Now this is the small classic flap. It's not the medium. Uh, it is a double flap, just so you can see. Um, and inside it has the beautiful burgundy interior here. Now these are 90s classic flaps, which means that they have that. For me, the 90s is the era of classic flaps. Yeah. Um, it's a much more of a flatter finish because now the difference is it's a lot more flat, much more puffier. The retail price of the classic flap is 6,500, which is around 7,000 US dollars. Uh, and also um, the crossbody chain. Uh, do the smalls have a longer? F uh, no, no. The, the small and the medium is the same. Yeah. We do have, do we have any medium? We have a medium, I'll show you the difference. So this is a small, it's the same. The vintage ones are slightly shorter in terms of the length and it is just stunning. Yeah. Um, I'm five foot four, Chardonnay's five foot six. Yeah, so, so let's show you drop. Drop. The chain drop is, is 46 centimeters, 18 inches. 18. I, 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 I love the chain of this. We, so Chardonnay's five foot six. There we go. Me personally, I love a, a, a high top crossbody. And Grace is five foot eleven. Also wears this as a crossbody as well, so much much more taller as well. And yeah, it is stunning. I'm going to flip the screen so we can show you the condition. They so wanted to see the size. I'm going to show you the difference between. Oh, we've got one here. Oh yeah. I do have more medium classic flaps, <laughs> but it's not going online today. Uh, it is just so you can see the difference in terms of like the crossbody length. Yeah. Guys, how beautiful is this? Stunning. Just stunning. Uh, just so you can see the difference in size today. I don't think there really is that much difference. There is no difference. They're the same, the 19 centimetres. The length of the strap is still the same. Um, right. Guys, who wore it better? <laughs> <laughs> Who's wearing it better? <laughs> so you can see, just literally just under the breast as well. Yeah, super comfortable. Small is just... The, I'm going to flip the screen so you can see the condition of that as well. Um, the green flap has sold, but we'll show you again the condition. How Look at the shine. Just beautiful. I'm trying to copy Sabrina's technique. There we go. Look, the base is nice and clean as well. Nice corners. There's no pictures of this on the website uh, because it will not be available to buy once this live show is over. There we go. Look at the gold on that, it's beautiful. Incredible. So as, oh, as Sabrina mentioned, this is only available on the live today. Um, the icon will c pop up, but it doesn't have any images for it. Um, but we have done the true condition report for you live. Okay, we need to do a bell. Yeah. Right, before we tell you the price, the Louis Vuitton Epertine time has now sold. Congratulations. It's coming to you. <laughs> it's coming. Congratulations. Woohoo. Okay. So if you want to know the price of this bag, are we ready? Everyone's like, price, please. There will be no picture of this item, guys. It has no images. Uh, like I said, this is just a live show, ex show exclusive. It has just come into the showroom. You get to get first dibs of this. Um, and it is a price of £4,200, which is £5,863. Um, we are covering the customs and as mentioned this is in a really mm -hmm. amazing condition we are finding it very difficult to find these in like such a great condition yeah. out like anywhere or rub to the corners as well so uh, if you want to purchase this you tap on this icon and um it will not be available once mm -hmm. the show is over and as sabrina mentioned these babies are like gold dust especially in this condition yeah. now you can't even walk in and get the classic chanel flap anymore and there's like a quota to it. So, uh, and if you want one with that 24 karat gold gilding, then this is just perfect. There you go. So, tap on the icon, guys. Now, uh, we've got one more unboxing. With one more unboxing, and then it's time for the auction. How many, let's see how many tens, did I get 10 yeses? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twen
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, yeah, I got ten yeses. Yeah. We're going to do an auction, guys. We're doing the auction. So, last unboxing of the evening. It is a Chanel. You have the box. Let me just pop this down. Um, so this bag also does come with its booklet. This is your beautiful scarf, Kaylee. Did you buy the scarf, Kaylee? Yes. Wow, how beautiful. Oh my God, wow. Beautiful, beautiful. So it's in almost it's quite like Art Deco, -y, isn't yeah. It? it really, really is. So it's in kind of, oh, goes to my nails. It's like um a a grey ice blue colour, I would yeah. say, would you? Um and it's got like gunmetal hardware, which I absolutely love. <gasps> so this has got like I call it like um a flat, flat closure. It is so amazing. It's got more of a boxy feel to it, and the condition of it is absolutely Box stunning. and dust bag as well. There you go. It's got that grey um, interior as well. No signs of wear to the interior. But you missed one ma major, major thing. Can I just show you? Yeah. Did you see? Are you missing it? This bit here. No, no, let me show you. Oh. Are you ready? Okay. Take off. Let me you're take it off. You're going to have to take it off. I don't know off. what you're showing me, Sabrina. She's like, you strangle me with the Chanel bag. <laughs> Look at that detail. Oh, the CC logo to the that? top. That is beautiful. I mean, I don't know. I think I would just like walk around like that and hug it. It is a grey, a bluey grey. A bluey grey, yeah. So I'll give it back to you. Sorry. I'll let you do the honours. Thank you. <laughs> so, as Sabrina pointed out, that Jumbo CC logo to the top, embossed to the leather. Now, it's a long crossbody style. So again, if you're wearing a puffer jacket, it works really well. The tones work really good for all seasons. It does merge into those kind of winter white colours we were previously speaking about. Really, really nice clean um, edging. And it's got this kind of... Um, it's like a soft finish, right? Yeah, it feels more like that's the soft flap style. But that beautiful grey contrasting interior is nice and clean. Let's do a flip for you guys. Sabrina, model it. Let's see what it looks like on you. Oh, I'll model it. Oh, and it's got that soft leather strap as well. Yeah, it's got the support strap very nice yeah. and the serial number on so this 20. is a 21 series so also comes with the authenticity card dust bag and box 21 series which is what 2013 yeah okay she flip the screen flip the screen you ready ready for the flip there yeah. we go and for me as well, when it's um, the gunmetal hardware, I think it's one of those pieces that doesn't show wear. So if you do get some hairline scratches to it, they're not noticeable. Um, wow, Sabrina. It's just amazing. Yeah. This is like a piece of art as well. I just have it on, in my cabinet and I just look at it all day. <laughs> <laughs> this really is like, it's got a double uh, opening as well. So super spacious too, which I really love. And let's get the measurements on this. Oh, hang on one second. What? Beverly, if I have not... Get off your hands, Beverly. Look at the details there. <laughs> <laughs> the white Chanel was yesterday's drop, but we have this beautiful white, almost icy grey blue. Yeah. 26 centimetres, 10 inches. And then the height is... 7 inches, 17 centimetres. So really good size. It's all about the details on this bag, and we're ready for the price. I don't know, maybe the price will persuade you. Yeah, whoever brought this in, it better be a good price, guys. <laughs> £3,200 wow. for this really, really rare piece, which is £4,329. Um, sorry, dollars. So £3,200. Again, we cover the customs if you are looking to buy this outside of the UK. I, the detail of this is absolutely incredible. You're not going to find something with that raffinium finish hardware, which I really love. And you can double it up as well. Mm -hmm. Love it. Yeah, it's kind of like a boy bag yeah. in between. In between a, a, like a yeah, flag. I don't really know. It's, it's just... kind of... Yeah. It's like and an alternative can we to... Tuck the check? Let's see if we can tuck the strap in so that... You... I don't know why, I just feel like I'm just be digging the vibes. Yeah, so it's like how I would do it is... Of the, uh, what's That's it called? The... Clutches. Mm. So because it's quite spacious, I would tuck this one in the back pocket. You got it? 
I've got it. And then you can in at the front put your things in and then you can wear it as that clutch as well. Yes. How so that you can show the CC that? detail. There we go. It is there. Just Tamara, the earrings are gonna go at auction in five minutes. Stay tuned. <laughs> okay. Uh please could I discuss the last Chanel? I think this just sold. I do. It just sold. Georgia, you can send us questions and we will let you know about the Chanel Classic flap. Congratulations! Congratulations. <laughs> I think this sold. A amazing. A piece of art. Definitely for this. Definitely. She's going back in her bed. Let me know how you wear it. As a clutch, as not as a clutch, or however. Uh, who bought it? Who bought the bag? Let us know. Let us know if you bought the bag. Uh, Georgie, if you've got any questions while we're on the show, let us know so we can show you more, piece, more pieces. Um, on this, let's see what the series is. It's A, because um, I want to give you as much information while we, while you have us. It's a 51 series, which, which is, can you check the year? Um, it's 92 it? to 94. 1992 to 1994 uh, for this piece. Um, and you can see the condition is absolutely beautiful. Um, did Amanda, Amanda, congratulations. It's amazing. Yeah. Honestly, it really is a beautiful piece. So you definitely deserve a star, a gold star. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> so again, the condition of this is just beautiful. If you yeah. don't want it, Amanda, maybe when Bev is off band island, you can send us a message and we can <laughs> sell it to Bev for you. Uh, look at that. That's absolutely beautiful. If you are looking for this, Georgia, 4,200 for the small classic flap. And there are like no tight, maybe some tiny hairline scratches, but overall in a really good condition. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you're ready for the moment, I'm guys? I'm ready. Who's going to start? Oh, I'm excited. I don't know. I've never done an auction, guys. So oh, you need to get that voice where it goes blah, 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 like an auction. Oh, in. God. Okay. <laughs> uh, can you compare the square with the classic? Yes, okay. you can. So this is still available and under. Four thousand pounds, which is three thousand two hundred. The comparison between this is that it's higher. What's your comparison to? So you can just quickly well, they're co they're completely different shapes. So different shape. Um, yeah. So this has got more of a square, boxy feel. This is definitely rectangular. Both great purchases. Great, really good investment pieces. It's just more what you're after. This, I just, I, I mean, of course, this is a classic, but this is also a classic. Mm -hmm. This is like the original classic flap, to be honest. It's a square. After that, they brought in the mini and the square bag to, like, replace this. Um, and they, you can hold this one as a clutch as well. You can wear that as a clutch yeah. too. But this is a bit more of a flatter finish, mm -hmm. more of, like, obviously a square shape. And then you have uh, the uh, strap, which is... Let's see the difference between the length and strap. This is this. also a double flap, where the other one is a single flap. It's like the battle of the Chanel oh, flaps. No. What flap is going to win today? Um, this is uh, the length of this one. Really both good lengths. We'll get the measurements, actually. Actually, they're, they're both the same. I think they're similar yeah. length. There we go. What wins, guys? Sade's bag or my bag? I wish it was my bag. <laughs> there we go. So. Okay. Right, guys. I'm going to talk to you about these earrings. Okay. So if you want details of this, just tap on the icon. Um, and uh, Georgia, if you've got any questions after the show, send us a message on the DMs and we will let you know. So I'm going to take off. I'm going to show you these pieces. Now, these pieces, uh, this earrings was acquired... Um, in New York from a Parisian collector oh. who was the most, honestly, the most beautiful woman I have ever seen bes beside these earrings. Um, so typically when it comes to Chanel jewellery, uh, the Chanel jewellery often has like past vintage pieces, often gets passed down like 10 times because they go to auction houses, they get sold in the resale market, and they move around. Uh, so it's very rare to find the, to actually meet the first owner of vintage mm. Chanel jewellery pieces. And this piece was um, owned by a woman who has uh, the largest selection of vintage Chanel jewellery in the world. A huge, huge collection. I am not joking. Like, she could fill out our rooms. Yeah. Doubles of everything. Everything carefully packed and the story behind every piece. Now, these are actually a... Um, I'm going to take these off. They are clip-on. 
This is Grip Gripoir Pearl and it has the crystal detail. You can see the beautiful 24 karat gold enamel detail. Now the vintage 1980s pieces uh, were, you know, really, they were gilded with that 24 karat gold, but also uh, gil uh, painted with pearl. So although it's faux pearl and it has the enamel, it has a real pearl finish. It's absolutely beautiful. Now, what I love about this, it's got like almost like a flower shaped detail mm -hmm. and that crystal. They just do not use that. The big, large crystal details. Should we get the measure, tape measure yeah. as well? So you can kind of see each one. I'm going to take each one off. Like, look, how bare <laughs> do I look when I take these off? Because we've seen you so every day now wearing these. You I feel so look... sad that they're coming off my ears. Um... <laughs> I'm going to show you. Are they heavy, Sabrina? They're not. And they're really... I ha walked around with these and they're really, like, really comfortable to wear. Actually, they're much more nicer than earrings. Okay. Because I feel like the earrings pull mm. pull it down, whereas these really, like, go nicely on these. So you can kind of see uh, these pieces. I have to tell you the starting bit because these pieces often, um, because it's Gripoir Pearl... So Gripoir, if you know Chanel, it's about Gripoir. That's all those pieces go for crazy amounts of money. You cannot find this anywhere in the world. Like these are really cra crazy price. You can see they have the 80s as well. So 80s and 90s Chanel were Victor Victor Castella, can't even say his name properly, was the person that has brought these in. Um, and you can see they've got the 24 karat. Look at the shine. I have to put I the know. screen. Our clip on. They are a piece of art, honestly. They really are. Now, these do resell for crazy amounts of money because of the fact that it's pearl, the 24 karat gold gilding. The condition of this is just beautiful, as you can see. My nails are smiling for them. <laughs> so shiny, so bright and gold. And let me just quickly tell you the measure. So the extra large um, uh, earrings are really, really hard to come by on these as well. So around 3.5 five centimeters to one and the, and the height is three point four, four centimeters so they're around four centimeters wide so they're quite a big nice size as well mm -hmm. and i love the fact that you can like obviously i have my hair tied up and these are my statement piece jewelry now in terms of vintage chanel jewelry and one of the reasons why i've gone crazy in terms of like buying these i've been wearing them all day i've been wearing them since the morning and I've worn them on the beach. Like I have fully played around with these jewelry pieces uh, to, I mean, and this was the one that I was tempted to keep because it's so elegant and classy. It doesn't have the big CC logo on there. You can see it's got the engraving here as well. Can you guys see the engraving for the Chanel here? Um, and again, this is a real collector's piece if you are looking to yeah. purchase these. They are, uh, they don't come with a box, but I will find them a box because they're 1980s as well now honestly you to find these big vintage cc earrings or vintage chanel earrings you're not going to find them anywhere and my prediction and one of the reasons why i have gone crazy buying out vintage chanel jewelry is that these are going to be really hiked up in price soon because everyone wants vintage chanel jewelry when there's one piece available they're not available again you can never get them available again and these are something that you just cannot buy anywhere there's one of a kind of these pieces so i'm going to start the bid at a uh, thousand pounds now these have been sold on other resale platforms for around two thousand five hundred pounds so if you do want this you just need to put in the bid so we can start adding bids in if you don't then unfortunately you will walk not be able to walk away with these i know that they um, are just absolutely incredible. Look at the detail. And all you have to do is write in the comments your bidding amount and these will have a new home. If not, we will pass the auction and they will be available for much more on the website. Yeah. Uh, in the time we do our vintage Chanel drop, which will be, the is it the 28th of... Uh, 28 so ali's got the thousand pounds on this there we go can we get 1100 1100 this is a still guys honestly because once they well once they are gone you are never going to be able to get this so, so ali's winning at a thousand pounds exactly this. let's and, get and bidding. as mentioned on the live show they will be going up for uh 2500 the our next auction our next um jewelry drop will be 28th of 
January, I think it is. So, yeah. So how much is in the US dollars? So if let's that... give you that in US dollars. It looks like, so we've got 1,215 pounds. Ooh, I think we can get one, one four guys, one four. Who is coming in at one four? Honestly. Guys, come on. So we've got Karen at one two fifty. I think Hermione's winning at one two fifty. Which what's that in pounds? Getting it up. Uh, pound to GP. Just gonna help you with the um, six. The, it's one thousand six hundred and ninety US dollars right now. Now these I'm set. I go for around two and a half thousand pounds, which is around three thousand US dollars. So Hermione at one thousand two hundred fifty. Can we get 1,350? Anyone? You can do it. Lo love these. And that yellow tone is absolutely stunning. We've got 1,295 with Ali. 1,295. 1,295. Can we get 1,350? We've got Himone at 1,350. Himone knows. They know. They and know their stuff. 1,450, guys. <laughs> I'm getting into it. 1,450. She's getting into it. <laughs> My phone's died, so I can't even bid on this. You can't even no, bid on it. No one is allowed. What is that in power? In one, dollars? Four, uh, so we're at 1450, 1350 at the moment. Let's one get to 1450. Come on, guys. Addy, can we get you at 1450? So we're currently at $1,825. $1,825, guys. Ooh, it's our first ever oh! bid that we're doing. 1399. 1399. I'll cut with it. We've got to go to 1414, one, four, guys. Why one are you selling my five? Bunny is like, why are you selling these? I don't make me regret this. Two thousand two hundred twenty-five dollars, one thousand five hundred pounds. I know we're gonna get one eight, one eight. The so what do you, what do these fetch? What do they? Two thousand five hundred pounds yeah. is what I've seen them go for online, and like I said, once this is gone, you're just not gonna get it. And what I love about them is that they are just elegant. They're classy. So. Guys, if you want to go at one five fifty, yeah, let's get to one five fifty. One five fifty. Can we get to one five fifty? How exciting, <laughs> guys! I'm sorry, Himone. We're going. We're, I know we're going for that moment. I think we're trying to get everybody into the auction yeah. mood. I think one five fifty. We can do one five fifty. Currently at one five. One five fifty. Yes or no? Oh, boys, we're going to get them to Himone. One five seven five. One five seven oh. five. One six fifty, guys. One six fifty. Do you know what? I think we should close it at one one eight. One eight. If we and get then to one eight, whoever over. bids one eight has them. This is just beautiful. I think whoever gets them really deserves them because yeah. I want to know what you look like because these are incredible. Like who are? I mean, I really enjoyed <laughs> being like a princess for today. Yeah. I went really when I walked into work with these on. Honestly, I felt like. I felt special. Yeah. They are like, true. I true. really felt like I've been taken back into time. Okay, so we're going to give it 20 seconds. One, five, and then seven, we're going to get... Ali's we're gone at, at 1,600. Six, one, six. So because we have a delay in the time that we're seeing you guys do it, I think we're around... 20 seconds delayed yeah. behind you. So we're at oh, 1,600. One, seven. One, seven, guys. One, seven. Can we get to 1, seven? I think we are at 1, seven. Oh, no, we're at 1, six. We're at 1, six with Ali at 1, six. Let's get to 1, seven. I just think I have to. We're at one seven, on. one seven, guys. It's pinned there to the bottom. We're at one seven, and a one and eight, and a one and eight. Do I sound like an auctioneer? This <laughs> Gripoir, if you know Chanel Gripoir, and if you are um, bidding from the US, we will be covering the customs. Yes, one eight, guys. Come on, let's reach one eight. Sabrina, I know look they're at just them. They're just amazing. Yeah, one eight. we we'll get at 1-8. I think we can get okay. to 1-8. So we're going to give it 20 seconds. Let's count down. 1, <laughs> 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, eight come nine, on. 10, 1, 8, guys, come on. 11, 12, 13, I nearly forgot. 14, 15, <laughs> 16, I one think everyone's getting it. 17. 18, 1750. 15. <laughs> Woo! Right, I think we need to drum the bell for Himone. Oh, 
congratulations, Ali, honestly. Our first you are, bid winner. Oh, Ali's gone to 18. Oh, Sorry, Ali. Oh, Ali, we're at 18. We're at 18. Congratulations. Himon. Himon, I'm sorry, Ali. We have to get out. let it go. You were out in the time. I think there was a delay in that. So, yeah. uh... Himone, we are going to let you take these home oh, yeah. for £1,700. And honestly, uh, congratulations. You're going to be the second owner of these pieces. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's actually gone to Himone, guys. Um, so there we go. Just give us a DM on Instagram and we will set up your order. So to purchase these, send us a DM at the, so the winning bed. Uh, if you go to our Instagram, mm -hmm. Luxury Promise. Send us a message with your details and um, we will let you take these. I'm sorry, Himone. I know Ali bid it 1800, but Himone has won these because uh, in the you was in the time frame of the 20 seconds. Sorry, I know there is the delay, but Ali, we will be having more pieces coming in. Congratulations, Himone. And Ooh. I want to see what you look like with these on. And the Please. first official winner of the 2022 Luxury Promise oh. auction. Oh, thank you. That was so exciting. That was kind of it with you. <laughs> there we go congratulations guys um so so excited you will be very much enjoying those pieces thank you for tuning in to our live show and for making it incredible honestly you're the reason why we work Absolutely. late till 9 p.m yeah. we haven't even had dinner i'm hungry i want coke with ice and lemon <laughs> that's our thing yeah. after our live show we're gonna go for coke ice and lemon upstairs uh and once again thank you we have another great live show tomorrow it with is. Sade Duh. and with Joanna. And shall we bring in some more vintage jewellery to bid with, guys? Yes. Yes, Himone, thank you so much. Send us a DM and we'll set up that invoice for you. And I'm going to give you the full bibliography of that piece because the previous owner wanted me to share a whole history and story mm -hmm. about how this piece is really special. So I will be sending you a message with all those details to it as well. And um, I will see you very soon our y2k drop it's going to be a 90s 80s and 90s vintage chanel drop and that will be on the 28th of january yeah. so stay tuned for our next live and yes we'll have more vintage jewelry see you later bye, bye.